Hi again, Year 10. It's now lesson three of week two. Uh, still the topic of Los Supervivientes. So if you can get the date and the title written, please. Escribe la fecha y también el título Los Supervivientes. Underline those of the ruler. Subrayad con una regla. Y luego empezamos. So let's start. So this week we have been looking at relationships, how to use reflexive verbs, differences between verbs ser and estar, and doing some listening and reading tasks. Now, one thing I've just, that's just come to mind, um, just before we do this um, starter, I said we were going to look at the verbs, difference between the verbs ser and estar, and I don't know if I covered that um, particularly well yesterday. What I wanted to just remind you of is that ser and estar are used for slightly different things in Spanish. They both mean to be, but the verb ser is used for permanent um, things like soy profesora, I'm a teacher. Um, mi hermano es alto, my brother is tall. Um, the verb estar is used for temporary things and also position, as you know. So things like, um, for example, let's have a thing. So using the verb ser, mi casa es pequeña, my house is small, using ser. Mi casa está en Farnham. My house is in Farnham. So that's using the location one. And it's used for temporary things. So that if you're describing, for example, um, I'm sad, I'm ill, estoy triste, estoy um, cansada, I'm tired, estoy enfadada, I'm cross. Those are um, temporary states. Uh, but also it's used for describing marital status. So, estoy casada, I'm married. Estoy divorciada, I'm divorced. Estoy separada, I'm separated. Okay, so that's when we've used, um, been using a start in this, in this sort of unit of work to describe the marital state. And that use, that always uses estar. I didn't make that clear yesterday. Or in lesson two. Okay, right. So, moving on. Um, before we do the main task for today, please, can you? Una pruebita, a little test. Uh, these were things that we saw in lessons one and two. I got married three years ago. I'm divorced. They get on badly and so on. Um, write them out in English, please, and then write the Spanish. Pause the video while you do it and resume when you have done it and not before. And make sure you are doing the work and not just writing down the answers, please. OK, thank you. Off you go. OK, so assuming you did pause and you've done the work and now you're going to correct it. So I oh, a bit quick there. Sorry. I got married three years ago. So I've lost the cursor now. There it is. Me casé hace tres años. That's using that verb there, casarse in the preterite. E accent ending because it's I. Me in front of it because it's the reflexive pronoun. It has to balance out the end here. Me casé hace tres años. That's hace is with the time period is ago. Me casé hace tres años. I got married three years ago. I am divorced. This is going to be using estar, just as I've just gone through for marital states. Estoy divorciado. I'm divorced. They get on badly. So that's they. So it's going to have to be se llevan mal. Remember, that's just the present tense of an AR verb, llevan. It's like hablan and visitan and montan and say is a reflexive pronoun. He is going to retire next year. Now, this one's tricky. If you got this one, well done. Va a jubilarse el año próximo. So next year is el año próximo. He's going to retire. Now, jubilarse is to retire. He's going to retire. Va a jubilarse. If it was I, I say I'm going to retire next year, it would be boy, a, and what's this last one going to be? Boy, a, I need the infinitive because that's what, how you have the, how you make the immediate future, boy, a plus the infinitive. So boy, a, jubilarse, but because it's I that's talking and I've got boy in the front, it has to be me on the end. Voy a jubilarme el año próximo. Okay, I would like to get married. It's the conditional. Me gustaría casarme. 
They separated last month. So this is the verb separarse. It's reflexive, it's in the preterite, and it's they. So se separaron el mes pasado. And the bottom one, we like being married. Nos gusta estar casados. So to be married, estar casado. There's more than one, there's two of them that are married, so it's casados. We like, so it's gusta. It's a singular there because it comes in front of a, 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 an infinitive verb. Um, and it's we like, nos gusta. Remember those are the pronouns that go with the verbs like uh, gustar and encantar, me, tes, uh, le, nos, os, les. We like, nos gusta estar casados. Okay, so that will have taken you a few minutes. You now need to spend time on the main task today, which is to do a short writing. And I want you to describe someone who's been stranded on this island, please, okay? So you can use reflexive verbs to talk about their relationships. Are they married? Are they separated? Are they divorced? Make it up. Just think of someone who might also be stuck on the island with them. I want a physical description, please. And um, describe what they used to do. So if you look back at, and I haven't got it to hand, it's further back in the presentation. If you look back at the original text, which had the five people describing their lives um, before the crash, and what they used to do. One was era mecanico, well, I was a mechanic. One was a student, one was a lawyer, okay? That's using the imperfect tense, you know, I was a lawyer, I was a doctor and so on. I was a student, maybe. So think about that, what do they used to do? Use the vocab you've learned this week. Ensure you use, th ensure that you include three time frames, past, present and future. That could be the preterite, the imperfect there. Present tense, future could be a conditional or a near future or a simple future. Aim to write about 100 words and post a picture of your work on Google Classroom, please. All right, so put a heading in your book, escribir, then write your description, please. When you have done it, then make sure you post a picture of it on Google Classroom. Um, there's a bit more just to look at here. So you may want to come back to this part of the video or I will come back for you. Once you've done that, I want you to please to look at the three lessons this week and think about what skills have you improved? What do you know now you didn't know at the beginning of the week? How are those skills and knowledge going to help you in, with your future work? And what else do you need to improve and need to do to improve and progress? So can you please, on the Google, on the, uh, on the assignment, post a picture of your writing and of your target setting, please. And once you've done that, then we will have, these are the objectives, just looking at them again. We will have met all the objectives from this week. Um, so I'm gonna go back and, sorry, I didn't mean to do that, I went the wrong way, go back. Here's the plenary, here's the writing. So take a picture of um, the here, I can leave it on this one and then that one. Okay, so take a picture of the two, um, Screens, sorry, I'm going to um, take a picture of the both screens so you have it all here. And then when you are ready, post your, pick, your work on Google Classroom. Thank you very much indeed for all your work this week, year 10. And hopefully this will be the last load of online learning. I think we've all had more than enough. So it'll be really good to see you back in the classroom um, the following week, hopefully. Thank you very much indeed. When I can, I will stop the uh, video. Gracias.